that in setting a games record in the 400 metres individual, she'll have to go fast. And there's Sally Pearson, gold medalist in the 100 metres hurdles. So the athletes now down onto their blocks to the 4x400 metres relay. And away they go. Good start for the Australian, Jody Henry. Also a good start for the English athlete, Kelly Massey, who's trying to go with Henry. But Henry's really gone out hard. Scotland's Gemma Nicholl as well. Looks as though she's making good, good progress down that back straight. But Henry for Australia has a clear lead as they come around the bend now towards the straight. And they start to improve. The Indian, Manjeet Khan, is starting to get inspired by this crowd. And she's run a really good second bend. And she'll come down the straight now. And the thing to do to watch here, the stagger not yet in line, watch to see who's going to be handing over the first. And it looks as though it may be India. They come up now towards the completion of the first 400 metres. And Manjit Kaur just weakening as she comes up towards the line. Who's first hand over the on the inside? It's Nigeria. It's Abigail who's handed over to Margaret Etienne and the Nigerians have got a big lead as they go down the back straight. It was a really good first leg from Fonashade Abigail and now Margaret Etienne for Nigeria. She has a big lead from in second place, India, and then come England and improving into fourth place. It's Scotland and Scotland through the person, the Bailey Child, are absolutely flying through here. She's up to four and she's now up to third. But it's Nigeria in front, India second, Amy Child for Scotland in third. For Nigeria now, Etienne will come up towards the line and she'll hand over for the third leg to Wadagun Loco. For Kola Wadagun Loco, she'll run the third for Nigeria. India in second, England rallying through Vicky Barr to take third at the handover. Megan Beasley taking it up for England and Australia now have moved up into fourth, uh, fourth place. Olivia Tauro for them. But it's Nigeria who lead from India. Will, in this last track event, the Indians take a medal? Here come England. They're really now pressing the Indians. A kunji for India. For England, it's Beasley. And then behind them, for Australia, it is Tauro. But out in front, still this big lead for Nigeria. Abagan Loco. And a, a long, long way back are the Botswanans. And there's no way that they're going to win this. Nigeria starting to tie up. Here comes India, here comes the country, and just listen to the crowd. India will hand over in the lead for the last leg. Australia coming through hard, and Sally Pearson will be an anchor for them. And India now go for gold. Nigeria are off in pursuit with Onomosu for India on the anchor leg. It's Mandeep Kaur and the Nigerians are up there threatening. They look strong and Australia back in the bronze medal position with England in fourth trying to challenge. India kick again and Kaur is now responding to the wills of a sporting nation. There are 200 metres to go. I can't hardly believe this. This would be the most phenomenal of grandstand finishers. If India here were to take the gold medal, you cannot write this script. The Nigerians are still there. They're still challenging. Can Kara hang on? I think she can. She's got 60 metres to go. The adrenaline pumping and she's coming away. It's going to be gold for India. And a phenomenal gold. India with its second place, Nigeria. Third place. I think it was England who came through in third. And the time, well, does it really matter? There are cameramen round there trying to catch a glimpse of that. So we can't see it from where we're sitting. But India, what a last lap. And where did she find that from? They have performed way beyond expectation. Phenomenal inspiration. And the crowd here can hardly believe it. They roared their encouragement from beginning to end. And India, they have taken the 400 metres gold medal, the 400 metres relay gold medal, the first time they've ever done it. And what a fitting conclusion to these games. A great run. Well, taking breath after that, I mean, the, it, the, the woman she held off was uh, the uh, Commonwealth 400 metres hurdles champion, who's very strong and very quick. And so that was an absolutely superb run by Mandy Carr. But the Indian quartets here receiving the accolade of this very big crowd here, they really deserved it. The Manjit Kaur, Simi Jose, Akunji, and then Mandeep on the last leg. And uh, that was a very, very fine piece of controlled running on the last.